Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. So here we are, we have the uh, QUP version 2 3D printer kit from Q3DPrinters.com. Uh, it's kind of interesting, it's the second version, so maybe to back up a little bit, kind of explain what we're doing here in the labs now. Um, having fairly interesting luck with the Da Vinci 2 extruder, uh, the Da Vinci Duro, Duo with two extruders, it does PLS. Um, was sort of interested in experimenting with some PLA. Did a lot of searching on the internet uh, on this particular uh, printer. Uh, it's probably the cheapest printer kit out there. And one of the reasons we went with the kit rather than doing it, just building it in the ground up ourselves, it, it is economically this act actually worked out to be uh, a bit cheaper than if we bought all the parts together. So. Uh, so we went this route. The second piece is, is there are quite a few builds for it already on the internet or improvements. So um, when we go through this build segment to uh, assemble it all, we're not going to build it in a stock fashion. We're going to go with the improved gantries, the improved idler pulley, the feed, um, etc., etc. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit interested in what's different than a version 2 and all the uh, things we've watched on the internet. However, it does come in a cool box, a cooler box than um, I've seen, you know, the uh, most of the original uh, chew-ups come in, so kind of cool. So, uh, we're going to do a bit of an unboxing and see what's in here. I haven't opened up the box yet. There is sort of a holographic sticker on here, um, and there are also, interestingly, I haven't turned it over, but some instructions, you know, again, specifications for the one and two up, attention. Uh, you know, what's in the box, what else do I need, big warning here before opening any bags or boxes contained in this kit, download and read all assembly instructions and review, well of course we can't read the assembly instructions, I think that would just violate the warranty, right? So, uh, kind of curious to see what it all looks like. So, opening up the box, obviously have some paperwork here. Where to get the instruction manuals? Kind of looks nice. Looks like this section of the box has been intentionally torn open to make some kind of separator for the rods, etc. Looks like um, four sets of motors, or four not set, but four motors, two here, and then. More here, so obviously X, Y, Z, and extruder, and that's all there. And this I'm bidding is the power supply. Sure enough, a little something ran out of the power supply, a little tiny something. I don't know if that's solder or what. I have to get a magnifying glass and look at it. But here's the uh, power supply. Looks like all the screws and stuff bagged up very nicely. Looks like the printed plastic parts are, are in pretty good shape. Um, hmm, interesting. I don't know if that's supposed to be for the idler pulley or what. That looks like the hot end stuff. That all looks interesting. Belt, so what is our bearings? You know, so the interesting thing is it's kind of kind of creepy. It's, uh, you can see all the zip ties in here. Basically. I think they should have named it the zip tie machine, but uh, yeah, I guess if you hit that price point, um, and the piece since we have the other printer already, uh, we might as well basically print all the uh, upgraded parts before we get started, and that's what we'll do. But I wanted to do a little bit of brief unboxing here and kind of uh, explain. Uh, looks like again, at attention before opening bags. Uh, again, it's the Infamous download instructions warning. Well, we don't need no damn instructions. I've watched enough videos on the internet. This piece of the box does seem to be integrated, so we have to remove these pieces to allow this to flip up. And so, uh, here are the ramps. Again, this sealed. No return if open, so I guess we need to open it. There's, there's the ramp modules inserted. So uh, there's the 
electronics. This looks like it's set on an Arduino Mega. So, anyways, these are all the pieces of the uh, two up that we're going to start building. Uh, we got quite a bit of other things going on right now, so it might be a little bit before we started, but did want to do a video showing the unboxing. I, for, again, roughly $279. Um, well, the whole thing was pretty close to about 300 shipped from Amazon, even though I am an Amazon Prime member. but. Uh, Hundred bucks for this kit is not bad for basically something that uh, will potentially start you in the 3D printing world. Uh, again, I've seen, seen some other upgrade kits. Just looking at the PLA, I've never really seen the PLA before. Um, you know, for another two or three hundred dollars, but then that seems kind of silly because you can buy a fully functioning unit for that price. Um, so. Uh, and again, with the other printer, I think we can print up the gantry modifications and the pulley modifications and the extruder modifications. And I'm really kind of surprised even that they don't do that with the extruder because I mean, you know, look at this sort of nonsense here with the extruder. I might build it just for the sake of saying I built it, but um, I don't know if you can say I'm over impressed with that. But the rest of it is uh, actually pretty good. So I have the screw rods. Looks like they punch it through the bag and shipping, but it seems to be okay. So, uh, anyways, look forward to future videos on this topic.